Hi there, today we're going to show you how to change an iPhone 4S or 4 back cover. We received this question from David. If you want to send in your own questions, just go to cousinshazzy.weebly.com, hover over contact on the right hand side and click on ask KNS. We're also doing a giveaway for another iPhone case. This will also come along with the two screwdrivers. Leave a comment if you want white or black and also include if you want it for the iPhone 4 or the 4S. I'll randomly pick a comment in a few weeks and if you're not subscribed I'll just pick the comment underneath you. For more chances to win just leave more comments and of course like this video. So going back to this video you can buy this case for about £10 on eBay and also um, you need to have the two screwdrivers because um, some iPhones have the different screws. Switch the iPhone off this is really easy, but to change the front, it's uh, much harder. We need to remove the two screws by the dock connector at the bottom of the iPhone. Having a magnetic screwdriver makes the job much easier and also harder to lose the screws. I recommend buying one of these on eBay or anywhere else online. Altogether this took me less than 6 minutes so I recommend you doing this yourself and not taking it to an Apple store because they can charge you a lot of money for it. So just slide the back cover off by just pushing it up and it will just come off. Unless you know what you're doing don't fiddle with the parts and take them out because this can of course void your warranty. This is actually the first time I've opened my iPhone, so from that you can see you don't need experience or anything like that, and it's an easy job. I haven't damaged my iPhone, so I'm just going to put the same cover back on, and I'm going to use that other one in an emergency if I ever break my phone in the future. As I said before, having a magnetic screwdriver can make this job much easier and so you don't lose the screws. I'm switching my iPhone back on on camera so I can show you the iPhone is not damaged in any way. As you can see, it's going on. So it's completely working. And I also have signal, so it hasn't damaged anything. The sound hasn't damaged at all either, so to prove that, let's play a song by Ray William Johnson. And Siri is working fine as well. Thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, and of course enter our giveaway. Goodbye.